Hello and welcome to this short video. I'm just uh, painting actually. <laughs> I was just thinking while I was painting and uh, thinking about thoughts that I get when I'm doing a picture. And I'm just doing this at the moment, just messing around. Not sure if you could see that. <laughs> it's kind of awkward uh, recording on your phone. Uh, you can't see what you're doing um, but I thought I would uh, make a quick video while I'm just talking about yeah, thoughts that I get when I'm painting and what thoughts I get to stop me from painting and one of the thoughts I find I'm just doing this rooftop uh, I'll have to do a video where I'm doing a full painting soon I'm only an hour on what to do really and, and whether I should uh, do an episode where I do a com more complicated painting and spend a while doing it because that's what I enjoy actually doing a, a really challenging painting but then I'd have to split the video up into lots of videos I might do that I'm only an hour in about it at the moment <laughs> on how to do it how to film it, things like that. Because if I do do that, then I'll have to do a rec audio recording over the top of it. Because I just, otherwise I'll be talking at the same time as painting. I don't know. It's tricky. I find YouTube is a tricky thing to do because sometimes um, it can stop you from doing what you want to do in a way because you're thinking about the video all the time and then the limitation of time so so yeah <laughs> I know I haven't really said a lot in this video but um, I'm enjoying myself painting I'm trying to capture the light on this house it's the uh, the house that was famous I'll, uh, I'll flip the uh, camera around so I can show you what I'm doing So yeah, what I'm doing at the moment is I've painted in quite a lot of the shadow and now I'm painting the light in and I'm umming and ahhing about the land around it because um, this is Willie Lott's cottage um, you'll know, you might, you might know it anyway <laughs> you probably do from uh, the Hay Wayne painting by Constable and uh, what I've got is a different angle to that. And I'm just, I need some more white paint. <laughs> mm. But yeah. So I put a bit of uh, yellow ochre in it. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah. Got some yellow, extra bit of yellow ochre in the white to give it a warm colour and then uh, just filling this in I've made that chimney too wide I need to shrink that but there's going to be trees here in this I sort of did a chalk drawing but after I realised when I was doing my painting part I realised that I made this building too long this way and uh, it took me ages to get this doorway right for some reason my brain couldn't get that angle <laughs> I just couldn't seem to get brain in gear it was it was going uh, I don't get it how can that door be that angle and then I had to cut this in as well because I wasn't getting that angle either but they're the challenges of painting houses. Yeah, I just thought I'd make this on a whim. I was trying to work out how to film myself doing paintings like this. I could use my phone just like this. To give you some clips before I do like a proper video, I suppose. Keep my channel active. 
hope you find this interesting. Different angle to what I usually do, anyway. Get right close to the painting going, paint going on. So something I noticed when I was in the museums looking at my master paintings, they use quite a bit of paint, and uh, so I really load my brush with paint for doing this. Oh, it's a bit too much yellow ochre on that. So what I've been doing at the moment is I'm blocking it in like this and sometimes I'll come back with a different drop and everything with a bit more paint and sort of uh, load it on in that direction if that's what I want to do. But yeah, I've got quite a bit to do. Um, I've got to try and put in the water as well and the reflection. And uh, I've got to work out, because what I'm umming and ahhing about is the land. Whether I'm going to... Because in the Haywain painting, you can see like mud around here. And then the Haywain's in the water. And this... Um, angle of course is slightly different it's uh, it's further across and but I've, I'm umming and ahhing whether I paint it how it looks now <laughs> or uh, how it looked then so I've got a book um, an, an old book I got from the library not from the library <laughs> I'm not sure why I said from the library, from uh, the second hand shop. Um, I've had it for years actually, and it's uh, got a constable and it's got um, a lot of the paintings. He's a, if you don't know of him, he's probably one of the most popular painters of England. The British public all know about the Hay Wayne. <laughs> or most people do anyway, um, because it's probably the most popular painting ever. Where is it? <laughs> Should have had it bookmarked, shouldn't I? I've seen that painting. Where is it called? That one. Salisbury Cathedral. I've seen that. That was in the Tate Gallery, and it's absolutely phenomenal. The detailing on the... Uh, the building on the cathedral. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's one extra painting that is. There we go. So here we have the Hay Wayne 1821 oil on canvas. Look how big it is though. It's huge. And it's in the National Gallery. I was actually there um, a while ago with Clive Powell and I took a photo of him next to it. <laughs> but yeah, there's the building. Look. So my camera's not picking it up that great. But there's the uh, ground as well. Look how... See, all oh, this is covered in grasses and stuff now. Where back then... Look at it there. And the other thing I was thinking of is to have one of these little dogs in can't focus on it, unfortunately. No, it won't focus on it. <laughs> I've sent the camera go to go crazy now. Um, but yeah, that's the painting. Of course, we're over here, about there, like there. We've, we're taking it further out. Yeah, well, it used to be uh, hung on the wall at my mum's for a while. She used to have it on the wall. When I was a kid, I remember it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I've got to anyway. So I'm going to do a bit more. Just going to uh, sort of do this light area tonight. 
get it blocked in. Because some of was uh, reading about is that the uh, the painting, the original painting that is of the Haywain. I'm just going to grab a different brush. What do I need? What do I need? I need a dark, and uh, I also need a light. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, I keep looking down at my uh, picture, and then looking at the uh, painting I'm doing. I'm trying to sort of combo it a bit, <laughs> combine some of the skill of Constable into what I'm doing. But it's that difficult because I'm not anywhere near as good. But yeah, I noticed the rooftop there's an angle I've messed up there. But when I'm painting like this as well, you can take your time, sit back, have a look, like I always used to say, <laughs> and uh, think about oh, what's gone, what's right, what's wrong, what's going to make it better, and start thinking about what you're doing as you're doing it. But yeah, what I was going to say earlier, I've just totally gone off on what I was talking about, is... Um, just get that bit there. Is um, constable. He uh, used to block in color. So, say you're doing a tree, he would block it in with a dark green, and then uh, what he would do after that is he would get his brush and he'd load it up with some. Because it, <laughs> I'll explain that better. So he'd paint, block in the tree green, let it dry, then he'd load his brush up with partly dried paint and then whoop splodge it on and uh, to get his effect which seems to work <laughs> so I'm gonna try that eventually uh, once I've got like the mass of the painting done then I can start improving things I need some ivy growing up the side of the house as well um, There's lots of things that you're doing. But anyway, I hope this uh, little video <laughs> is interesting. And uh, I'll carry on painting for another 10 minutes or so. And then uh, I'll move on to trees. I might, I'll show you uh, and see if it works anyway. <laughs> yeah, so what I need need some like ivy growing there so I could use a bit of blue ultramarine blue and a bit of yellow ochre so I'm going to start quite dark and there's ivy like growing up there Actually, I don't know if it's a bush, something here. I think it's a bush actually. About there. I'm just throwing in yellow ochre and uh, blue at the moment. So I'm going to paint on top of this anyway. might get a little bit green well this is what I've got to think about is whether I want to do it like that because I've been on an hour about that for a while <laughs> but anyway I'm going to carry on painting and I'll see you at the next one the next uh, bit of a clip of what I'm up to and then uh, I'll try and get a, uh, a full painting done as well at some point Thinking about doing a horse uh, painting. Well, guys, so I'll leave you with this view and I'll say bye for now. Cheers.